You were there? You actually saw what happened? Good. We should deal with facts, not hearsay. I was there. I saw these people with my very own eyes. Watch them slaughter legionnaires who refused to fight back. Many joined the mob, sir, but many more did not. Half your people stood by, while the other half did murder. Did you hold the killers to account? No? Then you share in their guilt. Why did you survive when all the other legionnaires died? We were ordered to stand firm, to face the mob down, to raise no hand in our own defense. A stupid order, meant to shame the people into sparing us. But rabid dogs have no shame. I fled into a causeway, and promised my dead comrades that I'd see justice done for them. If you claim to be a legionnaire, then tell us your name. Archambault du Payen, senior apprentice to the Grand Mage, last survivor of the Legion. No, not the last. Look at me, brother. We stood at Hearthfire together 40 years past, spoke the rites, and made our oaths to the Legion. I remember you. Odo, the tracker, the tireless scout. The Watcher of Rhodes. How can this be? In my dreams, I saw the whole Legion dead, scattered around a great tree. You saw a tree? Or was it full of ravens? Just as you say. Sometimes I see my fallen comrades scattered about its base, an army of corpses. Rotting in a foul and twisted wood. Every time I close my eyes, the dream is there. What about the radiant youth, the child with the golden hair? Have you ever met him at the tree? No. I saw him only once, at my induction into the Legion. Odo was there, and saw him too. I thought he'd turned his back from us. Or just from me. You and Odo were friends? No, I hardly knew him. I was a mage apprentice. Odo was a... scout of sorts. Scout is a kind word for what I was. You're a criminal, but you're a legionnaire as well. Hand him over to me and I'll see that he gets a trial. He'll hang, I expect, but that's a quick death. Better than he'd get if we tossed him to the people. Wait, he's a legionnaire. He's one of us. And he's a mage. If we give him to the town, all his knowledge is lost. This man is a criminal, sir. He tried to ruin our city, and who knows how many lives he took. Would you let him walk free? We need more information before we decide what to do with him. Ask your questions. I'm sure the constable will be eager to learn how I eluded him so very many times. Why attack Stonebridge? What did you mean to achieve? To leave these people as they left me. Ruined, defenseless, alone. Their fine city lying in pieces around them. Who else could demand satisfaction for my brothers and sisters? The Meisters would never have listened if I had gone before their courts. I was one man, alone. And my survival was inconvenient at best. The trouble in the Foundry, the Automaton Rebellion, that was all you're doing? My designs, yes. For their execution, I must give some credit to the people of Stonebridge themselves. Are you mad? The people of Stonebridge? How are we to blame? If not for your cruelty and greed, would the Foundry workers be so quick to rise up? 
If not for your murder of the Legion, would you need an army of automatons to defend you? I took what you gave me, Constable, and I turned it against you. Did you mean to launch the Automaton Rebellion when you did? No, you forced my hand. I'd hoped that the trouble in the Foundry would last a few more weeks, and I'd have time to turn all the Automatons against the city. As it was, I turned half to my side at best, not near enough. You used the criminals in the crypts. They abducted the Automatons, and you modified them. Yes. You have it exactly. A slow and painstaking affair, but my accomplices were more than willing. Reputation has its benefits even in criminal circles. Simple enough to bend one's admirers to one's will. Learning how to exert control over the automatons, that was the challenge. Fortunately, I was able to steal as many books from the college as I liked. And I had my own magical knowledge to draw upon, too. It took some experimentation and a few ruined automatons, but I learned. Witnesses said you could disappear at will. You've been hiding in the causeways? The Legion left many causeways behind. No one knew they existed save for me. But they couldn't always take me where I needed to go. The Foundry, say, or a troublesome Meister's estate. So I created causeways of my own. Not a simple art to learn. And when I hang, as I assuredly will, the knowledge shall die with me. You lived 30 years in the causeways? Did you ever come out? When I wished to come out, I did. The constables were looking for a well-dressed old gentleman, because that was what I allowed them to see. If I dressed as a workman or a clerk, darkened my hair with pitch, I could escape their eyes. So you moved about the city with ease, kept an eye on the constables without their knowledge. Sometimes I clothed myself in rags and tottered about the main square. No one gave me a second look, and I could observe my enemy at leisure. That beggar! The fellow who shouted rude names at me whenever I drilled the automatons in the square? That was you? Was it? I'm sorry, Constable. I don't recall. All right. I'm ready to make a decision. The gent is your prisoner by rights. What shall we do with him? We'll take custody of the gent. He won't trouble your city any further. I must vigorously protest. This madman tried to bring down the city. I'll not have him running loose. My word that I leave you in peace, Constable, on the following terms. First, that your fine council grants full support to the Legion. Second, that you find the ones who slaughtered my Legion brothers, if they yet live, and hold them to account. I dare say we have little choice, sir. Very well, I agree to your terms. That's one matter settled, but we still owe the Legion a vote. I'll convene the Council at once. Was this then what the Legion had become? A bitter old man bent on revenge. I didn't want to believe it. The gent was a true man of the tenth, and its ideals still lived in his heart. Though the gent had committed terrible crimes, the Legion had need of his knowledge. His skills would serve no one if he went to the noose. So the dapper old gent returned to the chapter house, his crimes forgiven in the eyes of the Legion, if not the people of Stonebridge. We have gained a powerful ally, and the people of Stonebridge have pledged themselves to our cause. As long as Jane Cassinder remains a threat, they have little choice. Gentlemen and goblins, order! 
Council will address the proposed alliance with the Tenth Legion. Circumstances have indeed changed since we last spoke. I now find myself addressing the savior of our city. Does the Legion Envoy have anything further to say before a vote is called? Our purpose is to serve the people of Ebb, not to impose our will upon them. We'll honor whatever decision you make. Very good. No reason to postpone our decision any further. All those in favor of the Alliance, vote aye. Those opposed, vote nay. First Constable votes aye. Chief Barrister votes aye. Guild of Ironmongers reminds the Council of the considerable cost of the events in the Foundry. Are we now to pay for the Legion's war as well? First, the Guild abuses its workers. Now it votes against the savior of our city? I wonder what the people will do when they hear, and I promise that they'll hear. <clears throat> Guild of Ironmongers respectfully abstains. Master of the College votes aye. Three votes in favor, one abstention. As mayor of the city, I shall join the majority and vote aye. Be it resolved, then, that an alliance is declared between the city of Stonebridge and the Tenth Legion. May our enemies tremble with dread. I'd like to thank the Council for putting its faith in the Legion. Of course. You are the savior of our city. Ask any favor of us, and the answer will be yes. Will you send your automaton army to attack Jane Cassinder? We can take her by surprise and end the war. Uh, the army? Uh, when I said any favor, I didn't actually mean... Capital! I can have the automatons ready in short order! Shall I make ready to leave? I should warn you, we may not return to Stonebridge again before this war is over! 